another one. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. He half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. Fair use, fair use. Talk! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ain't no way you a millionaire. Millionaires, I know, no lobster ain't no ten dollars. Do it. Bring your ass to Indianapolis. Bring your ass to Indianapolis. Battle true. You can bring whoever you. I'm coming dolo. I'm coming dolo. Yo, Chris is snapping, son. Yo, Chris, I got your back, bro. I got your back, bro. I'll be out there in Atlanta too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just, I don't want no smoke, but I am going out there to Atlanta, so, you know what I'm saying? I will be there, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I could I could get on stage and shit. That would be fire, you know what I mean? But probably not. I'm not expecting that. But yo, Chris is snapping, and this is hilarious, bro. This is so, so funny, but that's not even what I wanted to talk about in this blog right now. What I wanted to talk about, right, is what is wrong what is wrong? What is going on, man? What's going on? Hold on. Let me see if I can get a better. Tay Rock versus Official? Coffee versus T Top? What is going on with the battle rap community, man? I feel like it is a shame, right? That. A good percentage or a good portion of the battle rap community, right, is at a point where an entire third round that pretty much takes no critical thinking, no, no, you know, not much thought, not much effort, not much anything behind it. We're at a point, bro, in this culture that where a third round where you call somebody names right and end calling the name with body bitch right can win over a third round that was well crafted well thought out well executed actually subpar because official is great at what she does so it's not even like official has or had a mediocre third round versus Tay Rock. It's not even like that, bro. Like at all. Maybe if if maybe if the situation was that that was the case, that official had a mediocre third. It was it was it was. Uh. Maybe even in that case, I can see how some people can be convinced, bro, that Tay Rock's third versus official actually won that round. Which ultimately, I guess, determines the battle for a lot of people. Because some people are giving Tay Rock the first. It's a, it's a big deal for me. It's a big disappointment. Because it just goes to show, right, that just like the music industry, people are gravitating towards what I consider to be mumble rap. Mumble rap. Obviously, battle rappers can't get away with mumbling because there's no beat. But I feel like we're at a point where if some battle rappers could get away with just mumbling through a battle, they would. Because for a lot of the battle rap community, it's not even about the lyrics anymore. It's not even about the raps anymore. It's like, how how is this person going to come dressed? Or how are they going to dance around? Or how, or, or what, what, you know what I'm saying? Or like what, everything but the art of rap and lyrics bro it's like what it's becoming about and this third round where tay rock literally called official a something something body bitch for an entire third we're at a point where that can supersede in the eyes of a lot of people not mines 
Not people who, you know, understand what's going on. But in the eyes of a lot of people, that third can win a round, bro. That's, that's the point. Like, people need to really, yo, really put that into perspective, bro. There is a big fraction, a big portion of the community that really holds Tay Rock's third. Where he literally, I can do it right now. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You foldable chair body. You square camera looking body. You lava lamp body. You LED shape top bottom body. You picture frame looking body. You, you tissue roll looking body. You like, you, like, you, do you people understand? Like, this is what is so crazy to me, bro. Like, bro, right? Because it's like, what is battle rap? Like, for a lot of people, what is battle rap for a lot of people? Like, for a lot of people, what is it? For a lot of people, I feel like they don't even, they don't even know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why it is, bro. But, yo, I feel like we need to, we need to, we need to stop. Like, that, that needs to stop. Like, we really need to start to get, like, to appreciate the art of lyrics and rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, that art, the reason that battle rap even started. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to start to appreciate things like like Loaded Lux is this. You know what I'm saying? Told you because that's creative. That's lyric that's lyrical. That's creative. That's creative. That's lyrical. Like it's well thought out, well executed to, to the end where the loser, he threw the loser off the roof. Like the essence. So it really, really bother it really does bother me. I know some people are gonna be oh, you're tripping, you're tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm just I'm passionate about something that, you know, just like I'm passionate about my career, right? And what I'm doing. Battle rap is something that I'm passionate about because unlike music, music is something that, that was really big. I'm sure it's really big in everybody's life. But unlike music, I feel like there's music and there's battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Unlike unlike music, you get something different from battle rap. You get emotion. You get, you know, you get energy. You get excitement. You get you just get a bunch of different things. You get the 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 ability to critically think and break down something that somebody said that you know means something, but you can't even figure it. You actually have to think about what the hell somebody just said. Like, it just brings a completely different thing. So, for me, like, even a fraction of the battle rap community saying that Tay Rock's third would win over something like Official's third, where Official went crazy, lyrically, bombed on him, it just shows, man, the kind of path and direction that that we headed in bro just all that performance just all just just, just shock factor and then you know, a lot of people are forgetting about you know where this comes from where this stems from and what it's about <sighs> t-top versus coffee t-top versus coffee man i just want to say man Coffee did a great job. I'm not a hater. Like, I, I, I do respect Coffee. She did a good job. Coffee did a good job versus T-Top. You can't take that away from Coffee. I believe that a lot of people are convinced that Coffee won for a couple of reasons. For one, because this was by far Coffee's best performance. We have seen nothing but controversies around Coffee on URL and other places. We've seen and heard nothing but controversy surrounding coffee. We see a lot more controversy than we see her battling and proving herself as a battler. So a lot of people were already convinced that coffee wasn't what, you know, the URL or battle rap wanted her to be, which was a, a good battler, a solid battler. So the fact that coffee came out that night and executed her material the way that she did and performed the way that she did and got through a battle with T-Top, which 100% of the battle rap community had winning clearly. So the expectation of T-Top was crazy through the roof, the expectation. The expectation of Coffee was to get smoked. The expectation of Coffee was she was going to get smoked. So what happened was the fact that Coffee made that a good battle, she made it a good battle, makes it automatically so that people are like, oh, nah, she won that. She won that. Nah, she won because there, the expectation of coffee wasn't anywhere near what she showed or displayed that day. She displayed a different level 
that she's that she's hasn't shown the battle rap community before. So because of that, because of that shock and that surprise, like, oh snap, she went off. And the expectation of T Top was through the roof. So for him to meet those expectations are gonna be way more difficult than it is for Coffee to simply come in and execute rounds one, two, and three, her material, and that's it. That's all she needs to do to make it look debatable or even close. And because of that, I feel like a lot of the battle rap community is giving Coffee the battle. Now, I'm going to admit, I'm going to say that, to be fair, I'm going to say that that might be a good enough reason for her to have won that battle. It might be for some people. It might be. Like, I'm, for me, not so much. But for I can see how a lot of people can see that situation play out like that and say Kofi won. I can understand it. And that's the, that's the objective for everything. Just try and understand, right? So I can understand how people saw that battle and was like, oh, not nah, Kofi won. Because she did a lot better than we expected her to do versus T-Top. And then you have her going out there on the media saying that that third round angle was fake. The third round angle was fake. Taken away more from T-Top's, you know, what he did that night. And then a lot of people will listen to that, hear that, and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? On top of the fact that she did well, that third round angle was fake. You know what? She won. That's, that's, what's, that's, you know, that's, that's what's unraveling. I still have T-Top, you know what I'm saying? Like winning that battle 2-1. But, you know, I can understand how people call it the other way. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the objective. It's always to understand. You know what I'm saying? To empathize. But the thing is, right, people need to understand as well that T-Top's third round angle wasn't just about her son having been taken away. It wasn't just about that. That's how he started. That's how he initiated the third round. Yeah. That's how he initiated it. But throughout that third round, people need to understand that he was talking about a lot. He wasn't just talking about that with how he introduced it, like her son having been taken out. He didn't just, he was touching on a lot about her being a bad influence on her son, about her as a mother, about, you know, her, her how she affects, how she's going to have to affect and do something to better. Like, she was talking to her as a mother. That was the bigger picture in that third round. We don't know whether or not her having had her kids taken away or whatever the hell he said is true or not. So we can't just be like, oh, no, nah, because somebody said it's fake. We don't know what happened behind the scenes. But even beyond that, that third round was more so about her as a mother. Her being involved in this all this gang and street stuff and as a mother, right? And how that's going to impact and affect like her, her kids or like this. He was building up to something much bigger. And people just are just rolling with, a lot of people just rolling with the fact, oh, that third round angle was fake. That third, because Coffee went on the interviews and saying that, that she never had her kids taken away. We don't know the details and specifics. But again, even beyond that, that third round was a lot more than him just saying that. That's how he introduced the third. That's just how he introduced it. That's how he transitioned into talking about her being a mother. That's how, that's people need to listen and pay attention. That's how he transitioned into talking about that topic. So, I mean, I'm still calling that T-Top, man, winning that. I still got the Kings having won that event. You know what I'm saying? 3-2. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live with that rapping about a bitch.